Hello you sexy beasts and welcome back to War Thunder. This is a bonus video following the absolute disaster that was the Type 68 GM tank video. I think I have never rage quit in the middle of a video the way I have in that tank. But, oh well. I wouldn't just leave you with some shitty gameplay on that tank and leave you without anything, so... I thought I would take the opportunity to take a little bit, to talk a little bit about where all the aircraft videos are. The background footage is a free kill match in the Ki-84 Ko, belt rating 5.3, Japanese fighter armed with two 20mm cannons and two 12.7s, if I am not mistaken. Given Japanese guns are kind of like pop guns, but the cannons do do some work. We're going up against the Russians, so carnage is to ensue. But, main topic of this video, where are all the aircraft videos? The past at least five videos have all been on tanks, and people have rightfully so asked me in the comment section, what happened to the aircraft videos? Mike, why don't you play aircraft anymore? What happened? The answer is... well, there's a simple answer and a more complicated answer. The simple answer is... it's simply not as easy to make an aircraft video. It really isn't. When I do a tank video, I can simply see all the stats right there in the hangar. All the stats of Mother are given to you by War Thunder. Be it the turret rotation speed, the gun depression, the reload speed, um, even the driving speed, the power to weight ratio, the armor, the armament, the shells, the values of the penetration of the shells. Everything you need to know about the tank is given to you in the hangar. And it's very easy to read and as such it's very easy to do a preview of that and apply that to a gameplay. And as such it's actually much easier to get a gameplay in tanks as well. Aircraft is a little bit more complicated. First of all, the stat cards for aircraft in War Thunder, they lie. They just flat out lie. Most of the stats are either will either just wildly incorrect or completely false from the get-go. Stuff like turn rate, the um, climb rates, all those are false. The best thing you can expect from the stat cards to be correct would be the top speed at that altitude, but again, given the very situations that you found yourself in, that you find yourself in an aircraft, even that isn't going to be that much of, an, of a benefit to you. For example, if you look at the pure stat cards and you see that the P-51 has this top speed, and stuff like, for, for example, the LA-7 has a lower top speed, you would think that the P-51 is always faster, right? That isn't the case, however. If you, for example, take the P-51 down low at below 1 km, all of a sudden the LA-7 is catching it. What this results in is... It's really making it impossible to just make a quick video on an aircraft. If I want to do a proper aircraft review, I really have to put hours and hours and hours into it, not only flying the aircraft and getting a feel for it, but also doing the stats testing myself. Again, whereas in tanks I can simply read the stats and trust that they are accurate, in aircraft, I have to take all of the stats myself with a tool. Now, I do possess the tool, and I do know how to take most of the stats, except for turn rate. Turn rate is always a little bit complicated. The problem is, it's an incredibly long and tedious work trying to get all of those stats. And the worst part is, you can't really... the stats don't really have any value if you cannot compare them to anything. For example, again, coming to tanks, you can you can very easily look at the at the battle rating, at the um, power to weight ratio, at the armor, and at the penetration of your gun, and kind of put it put it somewhere compared to other tanks. It's very easy to compare stats of a tank to other tanks. In aircraft, that is simply not the case. I can do a full stat review of an aircraft, telling you what the top speed is, what the climb rate is, what the acceleration is, everything like that. But unless I also do the stat testing for every other aircraft that aircraft is going to face, then those stats are useless. I mean, what are you going to learn from uh, me saying, for example, the TP-47, imagine this is not an actual stat, but imagine the P-47 has an acceleration of 2.5 meter per second squared at 3000 meters. What is that going to tell you? That's not going to tell you anything. In order to, to use those stats, you will need to know the exact stats of every other aircraft that this aircraft is going to face, or else they are just useless. And well, 
since the stat testing of one aircraft is already a tedious and boring job, like very boring, just to give you an idea, the stat testing involves going to test flight using the tool, which by the way, it's actually gotten much better now because the tool I use now, the updated tool, can actually pretty much take all of the stats in one single test flight. Before that, I would have to waste about two hours in test flights alone per aircraft. Um, after doing the stat testing, then I have to go into Excel, so spreadsheets, I have to organize all the data, I have to single out erroneous data because sometimes there are like data spikes that aren't supposed to appear in the uh, in the graphs. I have to make the graphs, I have to interpret the, gra the graphs, I have to stylize the graphs or to put them in a video, print screen stuff, cut it out in, uh, in Photoshop, then edit the graphs to appear in the correct moments at the, at the correct times. And all in all, it's just a very, very tedious work. Now imagine that not for a single aircraft, but for at least five. So one aircraft of every nation. And that's, that's on the low side, because that's the thing. Doing only one aircraft of every single nation is still not going to give you the big picture. Of course you might now know how to fly this particular aircraft against that particular aircraft. But in RB battles you're going to face all kinds of different aircraft, from one battle rating below to one battle rating above, and it just becomes a massive clusterfuck of too much work to be worth it. If I really wanted to do regular aircraft reviews in the style that I really want to do, like giving you proper stats and information and impressions and telling you what you can do against this aircraft, that aircraft, that aircraft, each episode would have would would need days, if not weeks, of work. And I simply cannot do that. There's simply no way for me to do regular content, like I'm doing right now, and doing aircraft regularly at the same time. It just doesn't work. The best thing I could do would be to simply show random gameplay of the aircraft. For example, aircraft that I already know how they are supposed to feel and tell you how to fly this aircraft based upon my feelings. The problem is that is not scientific, that's not giving you stats and it's not going to tell you everything because those aircraft will need to experience and every person's experience is different. To give you an example, I, up until now I hated flying the Russian Lovotkin aircraft. I just couldn't figure out how to fly them. Now, given a couple of hours that I put into them, flown the LA-7, flown the LA-7B, flown the LA-9, I now actually know how to fly those aircraft and I do amazingly well in them. But what my experiences are, are completely different from what your experiences are going to, are going to be. And such me telling you that this aircraft feels amazing and that the guns might feel... Um, might feel weak, like for example in my latest P-47 video where I bashed the aircraft for being... Whilst the aircraft itself is very good, I just hated the 50s, especially because of the gun convergence. I received tons of comments of people who absolutely love the 50s. And that's the effect of War Thunder. Every player has a different experience. So, me telling you how to play this aircraft or what to expect isn't really going to be the best way of teaching you, given that everyone's players, every player's perspective is going to be different. And without the proper stats, it's really worthless. And again, to give you the proper stats, first of all, I, I couldn't just do the stat testing of one aircraft, I would have to do all the aircraft that the thing is going to face, and this is just work that, I, that, I, that I'm not willing to do, really. There's the point where I do videos for fun. Yes, it is kind of a job for me, this, is, this is now has become a part-time job for me. YouTube has become, um, has enabled me to sustain myself, but, the moment I force myself to slave over videos that I don't want to do, that's the moment where I, where I start losing my, my will to do YouTube videos again, and that's the moment where the channel dies. And I'm not willing to do that. Anyways lads, hopefully you have enjoyed this little gameplay in the background. Pretty easy game, the Ki-84 is a very good aircraft, I have to say. Especially at this battle rating, even against Russians. Especially when you go up against the Americans, they have no chance. But hopefully you now understand why there is a lack of aircraft videos. Um, I mean, if you absolutely want to, I can, of course, give you just live impressions of the aircraft, but that's not going to be a proper, proper review. I hope, I hope you understand that. Uh, it's a conundrum. Anyways, tell me in the comment section down below what you think about this whole situation. Honestly, I just wish Warfunder gave you proper and accurate information about aircraft giving you the climb tables, 
giving you the top speed at different altitudes, giving you proper turn times, and especially acceleration. Acceleration is a stat that is so incredibly important, but it is shown nowhere. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video, and hopefully I haven't made up the absolutely awful gameplay that was the Type 60. If you have enjoyed this video, do leave it a like rating, it really helps out the channel. If you're new around here, don't subscribe just yet, check out the channel first, watch some other videos and judge for yourself if you like my content and if I'm worthy of your subscription, and if you do, then feel free to subscribe. As always lads, my name is Michael Zboom, and thank you for watching. You can lift your head up to the sky, take a deeper breath and give it time. You can walk the path among the lies, with your shattered frame of mind. Instead you could 